at 10 o'clock this morning with the Kim Kardashian beauty tip that's got everybody talking this morning. It's very, very silly. Now, after leaving the deals, my next guest went on to be crowned king of the castle, remember that? But tonight, Danny Miller is returning to Emmerdale because the soap is preparing to celebrate 50 years on our screens. Who the hell are you? I just found her like that. No, you didn't. Aaron? No one hurts my little sister. Aaron, seriously, leave him. What's she doing here? We got a call from this address. Do you want to tell me what's going on? He's attacked, Liv. Liv, you okay? I don't know. This is PC Harriet Finch. I need urgent assistance. Well, Danny Miller, who plays Aaron Dingle, joins me now. It's so good to see you, Danny. I'm Jimmy, thanks for having and me. And you had to come back for this big, big, special anniversary, didn't you? Absolutely, yeah. Emmerdale's a, a huge part of my life, and, um, and you know, to, to, be, to be invited back to celebrate the 50th anniversary was a, a no-brainer, yeah. What was it like coming back? Because it must have been about a year since you've left. Yeah, I think, I think it was pretty much a year, yeah. a year to the day. Yeah, it, it was nice. There's a lot of new faces and a lot of old, familiar faces, so it was great. It was really nice just to sort of see everyone and find out what people have been up to and yeah, and yeah. kind of get, get amongst it again it was, it was really nice yeah i know it's like putting on a comfy pair of shoes because you know <laughs> you know what it's like you know what it's going to be like yeah you left for a brilliant reason which was mm. because you wanted to spend loads of time with your wee boy yes how is he oh he's amazing yeah he's like he's sat home good morning <laughs> he'll be waving to you he'll be kissing the telly yeah oh, gosh yeah. look how gorgeous he's he great he's getting big and he's going to be a year old in three weeks which is just flown by it's just the, the idea so it's fast. Just, and you've had the chance to to be with him you yeah. actually did you take the family i believe back to wales back to the castle <laughs> yeah did you? yeah well weirdly um it was uh, we were in a chinese well we, we have a caravan that's close to, to, the, to the castle that we right. bought before. It's not like I'm trying to cling on to it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was there before you were there, right? Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> before it was changed. And weirdly, for the first the first series, they asked me to uh, have a meeting for it, you know, and, and they showed me this castle. It was all top secret. And I was like, all right, okay, I know where that is. I've been there before. Uh, anyway, we've seen the, the owner of it, uh, Mark, in, in a Chinese in Wales. And he said, we you coming back and see it? So I went back and saw it first of all with Stefan Albert and then we thought it was that good, considering what ITV and another broad production yeah. company had done with it, we decided let's try and take all of our family with us. So the last the next time they were down, we took them round and um, yeah. So they could see where you all were? And yeah, we were... well, to a degree, because it was, it was such a it was like studio built, you know, right. purpose Post. built, and it was, and it was, it was so sort of different um, to, to go back and see it and stuff. But it was amazing as well. And so, so it kind of, it, it sort of closed the door for me as well. Okay. As, I wouldn't say it's PTSD, but like, I sort of... <laughs> Just those, those experiences. Oh, like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. trapped in there for three weeks. And but you did so, so well. Yeah. You really did. Now, look, usually the person who wins goes and hands over the crown. Yeah. Um, it's going to be in Australia this year, as we know. Yeah. Will you get a wee holiday in Australia? It would be nice, wouldn't it? Without you have to. You have to. Yeah, you have to, you have to no, do well, it. That's the rule. I'm actually doing Panto this year. Uh, oh, yeah. So I'm oh yes, you are <laughs> in uh, in Bradford. So oh, cool. yeah, so I won't be able to make it. But I'm not sure whether they, they would have invited me anyway. It's kind of it felt like two sort of different shows. Yeah, I know what you mean. And stuff which was would great. you rather go to Australia? Do you think, or did you think I mean, that Wales was really good? I did. It was an hour away from me. If anything happened with Albert and Steph, and that's and, true. You know, it's less tax as no, well. Let's be that's honest, true. You know, so. no, so good. Um, yeah, no, it was, and I was. It was. It was one of the best experiences of my life. You know, twelve people a year get to do it, and I, I kind of saw it all. The and way you're through. still pals with a lot. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Simon. And we, we speak to, we speak. We have a group message that's you know like, kind of blows hot and cold and stuff. But you know, once everyone messages, but like it's really nice. And I still speak to David and um, you know and, and and Simon and Adam, of course, and who before and yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. So um, yeah, it's really really nice. It's, it's it was a great group. So yeah. You'll all be getting together, I guess, because it's the NTAs next week, isn't it? So you'll see each other, it's yeah. really good. Yeah, it'll be the first great. time, so it'll be nice to see everyone and see what everyone's been up to and uh, stuff, yeah. It's been a really, really quick year. It's been a fast year, and you've packed an awful lot into it, including the wedding of the year. <laughs> well, that was some bash, yeah. wasn't it? That was no, a it was great, great do. It was, what a yeah. fantastic do. I love that your dance was 
to the Hugh Jackman song? Yeah, well, yes. we've always loved The Greatest Showman. Well, actually, Chef's always loved The Greatest Showman. I know. Yeah, we went for it, yeah. You made, everybody made the effort at your wedding, I have to say. We did, yeah. What, what, was... what was good about it was, remember, we didn't have to stand there for like two minutes all because we danced inside. Yeah, inside. that's Steph true. and I loved, and we, we watched it in Lanzarote last year, a couple of years ago, in an outdoor cinema. And then we listened to it and we said it's a perfect story for us, you know, that yeah. two two young people kind of went away separately, lived a little bit their own lives and then came back together yeah. and then uh, the words and everything. And then also, it meant, you know, we had a slow bit at the start and then and the, the the after bit was just, it was brilliant because then we could do, I didn't have to stand there and look awkward. And no, because that is, you're right. Yeah. There's, a, there's a degree of shuffling there is. around oh, yeah. and everybody's like, yeah, this is really good. Because and when is it going to stop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and then yeah, if you've exactly. got dancers, it's like, it's a yeah. spectacle, it's Well, we took, we took all those. And of course, your wee boy could be there as well. Yeah, well, he was a part of it just at the end, and it was great. Everything I said I wanted to do when I left Emmerdale, I've done. And, um, Is he in a truck? In a yeah, trailer? Yeah, yeah. Show me that again. Yeah. That was amazing. We, we wanted to, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, he would steal the show, didn't he? Oh, well, he did. Did he not? He'd steal the show, he did. Never mind yeah. about the bridge. Yeah, but he's yeah. welcome to it. You know, oh, he's gorgeous. We love, we love showing him off. He's so well behaved. He's, oh, he's brilliant. Yeah, he couldn't, couldn't ask for a better so well behaved. A lot to do with the mother, I must say. She's brilliant. It's yeah. it's fantastic. It's yeah. so, so good. Yeah, so you parachuted into Emmerdale. Yes. We don't know what's going to happen. Don't tell me because I, I don't want to know. I can't. Um, but it's a, it's, it's a great position to be in, that mm. you can do that and then do all the other things that you want to do as well. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah, and it was, you know, and I, they kind of pitched the story ideas and stuff and said you'd be across so many different stories. Yeah. With, uh, you know, going back to reconcile with Liv, um, and then everything uh, happening with Faith at the minute, which we've seen on screen. So, sure. uh, and then we know so sort of Chaz is, is not up to no good as well. So, um, and then the big storm hits as well um, for the 50th anniversary. So I was just like, I mean, it's a no-brainer. And you it's know, a dangerous place to live. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you really, you don't so, want to live. House there. prices have plummeted. I have. Which, I'm, um, sure <laughs> which, yeah. I'm sure they have. But, yeah. Danny, yeah. what a joy! Thank you so so much for coming in. It's it's always always good to see you. you and of me. course, Emmerdale continues. News and it's doing brilliantly, isn't it? Having yeah. a new half past seven. I mean, it's not new now, no. but uh, half past seven ITV as usual. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right after the break, we are live to our Ross in Los Angeles. Hi, Ross. Morning, Lorraine. Okay, Kim Kardashian. It's a beauty hack you really have got to see for all the wrong reasons. And I've got the right reasons why you may well be surprised who, and I exclusively can reveal, has been turned down the role of James Bond. It's all coming up when I meet the producers right here on Lorraine and ITV.